They have the tree, decorations, even lights, though there's no electricity to switch them on. Esther and Najjar is not feeling any Christmas cheer this year. That's because to celebrate Christmas with the rest of her family in Bethlehem in the occupied West Bank, Esther and her daughters have had to apply for a permit to leave Gaza from the Israeli military which control all access in and out of the Strip. They're getting ready to go, but they know it's a long shot. And preparing a holiday meal with no electricity, cooking gas or flour is not an easy job. I don't even feel like making Christmas lunch this year. Look at what I have to cook with, this kerosene device. It means I can't make our usual meal. There's no electricity, so everything in the fridge has gone off. I don't know if it's worth even trying this year. At the local church, Christians gathered to see if they would be among the lucky ones who Israel would allow out this year. Of the 710 who applied, less than half got permission. Esther's family was not among them, making Christmas that more difficult. Those who were granted the Israeli permits wasted little time as they hurried off to the era's crossing point, many having to leave their loved ones behind who weren't given permission. The journey to Bethlehem for Gaza's Christians, like so much else in their lives, has to be okayed by the Israeli authorities. It's a policy that's drawn condemnation from religious figures, both inside Gaza and beyond. So this year, the Catholic Church's top cleric in the Holy Land brought Christmas to Gaza, delivering his Christmas message at a special Sunday service to those who would not be allowed to make the short journey to Bethlehem. It is not possible that pilgrims, foreigners from outside are able to come to Bethlehem, to Jerusalem to pray, and our inhabitants, our people, are unable to go. It is not normal. For Father Muslim, splitting families at Christmas while denying worshippers access to Jesus' birthplace is another layer of the siege. He calls it the strangulation of the soul. In Gaza, people talk about the hunger, the thirst, the lack of work. But the most important thing for humans is their emotional well-being. Israel deprives people of the tears of joy when they see their families, the emotion of spending Christmas in the sacred town of Bethlehem. That hurts more than anything material. Esther's family and hundreds like them will spend another difficult Christmas at home this year. At the mercy of an Israeli policy which splits Palestinian families and darkens their hopes this silent night. Shireen Tadros, Al Jazeera, Gaza.